Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle, they've just learned the hardest of lessons, which is, if you start a brawl, do not be surprised if you end up getting punched twice as hard. In fact, South Park has just knocked them out. Uh, Harry last year wrote a book called Spare, which smashed his brother, his father, his mother-in-law, his sister-in-law, the media, and many, many others in one giant whinge. Now, I don't know what he and his wife expected from this. Was it pity, or sympathy at their hard life? or just the millions of dollars they've earned from betraying Harry's family. But they couldn't have imagined being made a laughing stock by the cult cartoon South Park. We want privacy! We want privacy! Hey, thanks for having us on the show! It's so awesome to be here, it's great! So let me start with you, sir. You've lived a life with the royal family, you've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard, and now you've written all about it in your new book, Wee! The whole thing was devastating, very funny, and it made Harry and Meghan a laughing stock around the world. And not just in the English-speaking parts of it, the Spanish one as well, and in France, and in Germany, and in Holland, in fact, just about everywhere. It has been devastating. Joining me every Monday is commentator Esther Kraku. Esther, lovely to see you again. How can Harry and Meghan survive a mockery that has made them look ridiculous around the virtually the whole world, not least because that mockery was so accurate? I mean... I can't imagine they've got an ego big enough to bear that. Well, I'm, I'm sure that's certainly not the look that they were going for. And look, South Park is known for uh, satire and for mocking people. No one is safe. This isn't the first time they've done an episode on the royal family. But this particular episode was quite scathing in, in, in the grains of truth that it held. Um, and I, I, I'm, you know, I'm not sure how the Sussexes are taking it. Obviously, it is a cartoon. But there's so many moments of truth in in that uh, episode that makes it so funny. I mean, really, the episode part of the the, the episode called what they were doing a, a worldwide privilege tour, which is obviously uh, a play on, on really what they're, they're trying to do. Um, Every there time I hear you know, that, it's just so brilliant. <laughs> Worldwide there, there were so tour. many I mean, brilliant seriously. moments in there. Um, you know, I, I think the, the reality is uh, most people are, have got the sense that th this couple really don't want their privacy, um, or at least they've done everything in their power to not get it. And also, you know, it's really hard to sympathize with kind of the, the complaints and the woes of, of a couple like this. What, again, like the episode said, they're very wealthy. He's been handed everything he has on a platter. You know, they're literal royals. They're living in a multi million pound house in, in, in Southern California. California. I mean, really, what grievances do you have that most people can relate with? Now, but Esther, I now see many reports claiming that Harry and Meghan have been stung so badly that they've got lawyers looking through this hoping to sue. Look, frankly, I don't know if I can believe those reports at all. I've seen no hard evidence that this is the case. And for one, one reason I don't believe it, of course, is that it would make it even worse for them, wouldn't it, if they did sue? Absolutely, and I'm sure that they have more, more better things to spend the royalties that they're getting from that best-selling book um, to, to, to do. Um, and the reality is you can't sue a cartoon. It's satire. It is what it is. You know, the, the, the South Park has done, you know, episodes on the royal family, on the royal wedding of, of, of Kate and William, for instance. So it's, it, it's not something that they, they would be able to sue about. And I, I, I generally just don't believe it, really. So where did they go now? Well, you know, you would think they would kind of fade into obscurity, at least one would hope, um, and actually just to see if there's any truth in the privacy that they were so, uh, you know, desperate for. But the reality is uh, Harry's book is just one of a multi-book deal. So unfortunately for, for most of your viewers, there are more to come. And I'm sure Megan has some books in the works as well. Um, and, you know, they, 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 are, they are going to try and continue their goodwill tour while sprinkling in uh, their criticisms of the royal family at every given moment. Um, they're not going in a way away anytime soon, that's for sure. Well, may I suggest the cookbook? Uh, I think the whinging uh, side <laughs> of things has just gone belly up for them.